Good shine. Good. So Monday's done and uh, that was in Dartit at one point. Um, woke up with such a migraine this morning um, after yesterday's eventful day at Comrades. Uh, yeah, it just seemed to take a lot out on me. So I wanted to go this morning, but such is life. I actually just took a couple of painkillers, lay in a bit. Thankfully it went away uh, and I was able to go midday. Um, so yeah, did it in the ever so beautiful Umschlange um, and 25 Ks along the promenade. Guys, it was so windy, um, but yeah, I must say last week Monday felt the best I've ever felt this block. This week Monday, not so much. I have mad respect to guys like Matt Fox who used to travel week in, week out and still sus uh, sustain training. So uh, yeah, at least it's in the bag. And I did 25 Ks today instead of the standard 30 because it is race week and uh, we're going for the big half this weekend. Okay, that's much better. So today's session uh, was six times 1,200 meters, 75 seconds recovery, followed by six times 800 meters, 60 seconds recovery. So usually the track volume uh, for the Kiptrega sessions this block has been 15 Ks track volume. Today was 12 Ks with it being race week. Um, so I was hoping it would feel a little bit easier, but that wasn't the case. Thank goodness it was only, um, 12k track volume um, yeah split times weren't bad 308 average pace for the session but I just didn't feel great um, you know what I've str honestly struggled to find routine over the last few days um, and it's a it's a good learning for what's to come um, with the travel coming up that I need to just try and stick to my routine as best as possible obviously it's impossible to stick to to the full routine um, but yeah I just felt lethargic the w it was super super windy so smashed by the wind um it was just a struggle guys <laughs> honestly it was a struggle and it's fine we got through it we live to fight another day uh flying back to south africa tonight um dreading the flights a little bit these legs aren't built for long flights um but we'll get up every few hours and stretch them out um there's a gym here so i'm hoping to have a bit of a shower apparently there's an ice bath as well maybe i'll do that could do good to me the world of good um, but yeah, the, the SA trip's been absolutely incredible. It's been so nice to be back here and uh, time to establish some routine. Big half, we're coming for you. Home sweet home and back in London town I am. Um, just finished my 20k shakeout. Straight off the plane into a shakeout and uh, yeah, it was tough, it was tough. Um, I always said I'd be open and honest throughout my journey and at the moment, I'm struggling a little bit um, for a combination of reasons. I'll tell you why now. Uh, I think first of all is the sleep. I always say like sleep is such a crucial part uh, when targeting a sub 220. I need to be getting at least those golden eight hours. And um, yeah, on the plane last night, I, got, I was lucky enough to get the seat behind where all the babies were. Um, so yeah, I probably got about two, three hours sleep. And uh, while I was... Um, in South Africa, like in the hotel and stuff, I was probably getting about five hours sleep a night. So falling short on that front, unfortunately. Um, obviously a plane ride there as well. And uh, yeah, while, while I was there, kind of like you have hotel breakfast, so it's like all inclusive and um, so many just temptations everywhere. So all inclusive lunch, all inclusive, all inclusive breakfast, all inclusive lunch. And um, obviously restaurants, uh, restaurant dinners and stuff like that, airplane dinners and stuff. So really just struggled. I knew it would be tough, uh, but I thought I would be able to stick to routine as best as possible. Um, but yeah, fall, fall short, unfortunately. So body is not feeling great at the moment. Um, and you know what, understandably so. Um, I'm not panicking. Um, I've banked a whole lot of good training and uh, you go through phases in a training block. And uh, yeah, it's probably probably the lowest I've been this block. Um, but having said that, there's three and a half weeks until Berlin and three and a half days until big half. And uh, a lot can change in three and a half days. I've been here before and um, just with good recovery, um, good fuel, clean eating and positivity, we can get there again. Uh, but yeah, it's important to just ride the motions and uh, 
and I suppose deal with, with how you feel at certain stages of the block. Anyways, on the plus side, I am super glad that I, I did that shakeout. Um, there were, I had three options. One was to start working, and I knew if I started working, there's no way I would have run. I would have got so stuck in. Um, the second option was to have a nap, and I thought if I nap, I'll probably only wake up in two days' time. <laughs> so if I didn't get my shakeout done now, I never would have. And uh, yeah, just really, really glad to have, have got, got it done in the bank. Oh my word, life is just a little crazy at the moment. Um, as you can see, I've got so many orders I'm dropping off at the post box. Um, a new kit order came in today, so I've been playing a bit of catch up. Um, and yeah, literally since I did my run this morning, I haven't even had a minute to record this video. So now is the best time. I'm on, on my way to um, an Adidas event, actually. They're launching the Boston 11 shoe over there. And they're doing a wiggle event. So I'm hosting that. And uh, yeah, now is a good a time as ever. So this morning I did my shakeout run, uh, sort of like a pre-tempo session before the big half. And obviously yesterday I wasn't in the best mental space. Today I feel a whole lot better. Um, it's amazing what a good night's rest can do. And uh, yeah, the session was 14 times one minute on, one minute off. Um, so the, the ons I kept quite sharp. Uh, faster than half marathon pace and the offs I just kept as an easy jog. So the way that will change um, after the big half is I'll do a lot more stuff at target marathon pace and just get used to that marathon flow. So the ons won't be as hard and the recoveries will be a little bit quicker. But yeah, felt, didn't feel hundreds but felt quite a bit better and um, yeah, now it's literally time to get the head in the game uh, for Sunday. Okay, Kits is in the post office. And we are now running to catch our train so we make it there on time. Like I said, life is just a little crazy at the moment. So I've just finished my easy Friday shakeouts before the big half on Sunday. Full rest day tomorrow. And um, yeah, on today's run, it just made me realize once again how privileged and lucky we are to be able to, to run. If you're watching this and you do have the ability to run, um, then yeah, you've got to just really embrace it and enjoy it and be thankful for it. You know, we're never going to be able to run forever. And um, yeah, to take part in a race like the big half is, is unbelievable. So the vibe's going to be insane. I've got over 50 um, teammates that are doing the race. Um, the elite field is just crazy. So what, whatever, what will be, will be. Um, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. Whether I do a PB or whether I don't, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, the main thing is that I'm going to enjoy it. There's huge physical and mental benefits um, to running. And it, you know what? It's so easy to get fixated on targets, goals, put yourself under so much pressure, be really upset when you don't get them. Um, and at the end of the day, running is a choice, not an obligation. So yeah, I'm just going to take it all in, enjoy it. I'm obviously going to give it an absolute full send, leave nothing out there. What will be, will be. Um, but yeah, that brings me to my next point. So what I'm going to target at the big half. So my uh, the half marathon I did in the Rotterdam block, the Cambridge half marathon, I went 66.19. It was probably the run of my life. Everything just clicked that day. I felt like I could have found another gear. Um, and then my most recent half marathon was Hackney half and I did, did that in 70 and I think 53 seconds. Um, I do feel like I'm in quite a bit better shape than, than what I was at Hackney half. Um, so I would like 67x, something in the 67s. Um, for me, big half's not the quickest route and Berlin marathon for me is a lot quicker than big half in any case. This is just sort of like a race on route to the big boy. Um, so then again, if we can do a 67x, that'd be amazing. If we don't and we fall a bit short, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, maybe that won't be a bad thing in the bigger scheme of things. Either way, we'll give it a full send and, uh, Let's see how this goes. Time to get the good carbs in, get the legs fresh and head in the game. Let's go. The calm before the storm, or should I say, the storm before the storm. Big half race day, and uh, you can see Tower Bridge over here. 
definitely my favorite bridge in London and uh, yeah this is around the seven mile mark in the race so next time I'll be crossing this bridge the heart rate will be a whole lot higher but hopefully we still have a bit of a smile going um, but yeah today is obviously uh, like a checklist race en route to, to Berlin Marathon I'm still gonna give it a, an absolute full send but then again there's a much bigger picture with Berlin being the main target so I'll be disciplined enough to know that if I'm not feeling it, then I must back off. Um, but yeah, it's all about being being positive, getting in the right frame of mind. So we are feeling it, so we're gonna give it a good go. Uh, the good carbs are in, the fast shoes are about to go on, and uh, all that's left is to give it an absolute full send. And uh, yeah, really excited for it. Um, just, you know, gonna embrace the day and see what happens. Touch base in a bit. Woo! Looking strong, Meg. Well done. See you at the finish line. Oh guys, um, that hurt so much, man. That was not a far, far, far from ideal. Um, bit of a shock to the system, actually. Last year went really bad. Um, this year, even worse. Oh man. Um, you know what? Strangely enough, I actually a part of me enjoyed it still. Um, it was it was like so cool to be running through central London and the support. Uh, for me out there was incredible. I ran about 10Ks with Ailish, which was part of which cost me, but that was so much fun and experience I'll never forget. Um, but on the downside, last year I did uh, 68.45, this year I went 69.03. Um, I just was in a really bad place from halfway. And I thought, you know what, let me just try and uh, I'm gonna feel like this towards the end of the marathon. Uh, let me try hit marathon pace. Um, it's character building and if I can do that, then I can do that in three weeks time Oh man, and I was able to do it for the first few and then I wasn't even really able to to hit marathon pace So I went through halfway in 34 So double that, that would have given me 68, finished 69, so I went 34, 35 um, Preferably should have gone the other way around, but In a strange way, I don't think it's such a bad thing either um, If I look at like Cambridge, I was on cloud nine I, it was the best run of my life. I, I was I won the race. Um, today was sort of the complete opposite, and it's humbled me so much. So I'm going into Berlin super, super humbled. And uh, yeah, having travelled back from South Africa and the, the build up, like having not tapered. Look, I'm just I'm not going to make excuses. It's just not good enough. Um, and you know what? It's not over. That's for sure. Three weeks, literally 20 days, basically, to get my together really i need to prioritize um focusing a little bit more on me and getting my head into the right place i know i can do it i just have to feel incredible on the day um everyone i spoke to didn't really <laughs> feel amazing today conditions were pretty good they were breezy uh, massive congrats to Elish who who won charlotte purdue came um second she wasn't far behind me and then sam harrison awesome stuff third place I don't even know who won the guys. I can't wait to watch it later on TV. Guys, we're still smiling. Let me go do my cool down. The sun will come up. Uh, I'm smiling, but I feel like crying. You know what, in life, excuse my French, but shit happens. Let's build a bridge. Let's get over it. Thanks to everyone who came and said hello and um, have been watching the videos and it's inspired them. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It inspires me as well. Mad love, guys. Come on. Thank you. We've got this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, guys, final few kilometers for the week. And we finish on 150 k's um i'm in a bit of a better place now i realize that sometimes when you get dropped by elish you have to have a slice of humble pie 
and enjoy it. These things don't happen every day. Um, but yeah, I've got some of the crew here. Woo! Uh, let's go through each one quickly. Name and what time you did today. Uh, Dan Barrett, I got 116.05. Annie Carling, 75.30. Hey! Josie, hey. 1.26. Uh, Chris Brookhausen, 11007. Speak up, Chris. Manny Trenzo, 7712. Reese Doty, 112. <laughs> name and time. Oh, sure, sure. 12650. Uh, you <laughs> forgot his name. Chris, what? 8716. Uh, Charlie, 119. Charlie, uh, 82 minutes. Oh, Woo! nice, nice, nice. Woo! I want to give a, a massive shout out to, to Charlie over here. He helps me with the video editing. Thanks so much. And uh, Nick Bester, 6903. Proudly dropped by Eilish on TV. Um, uh, it was awesome. And uh, yeah, massive congrats oh, oh, to a lot of the <laughs> huge day for the team. Uh, huge PBs and well done to Anya who was third non-elite. Amazing stuff. Let's go. Three weeks. Let's go.